What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel if you didn't know. So today's video is going to be all about lashes. Basically just materials, what you need to know, what the different types of materials are, what you need, and just basically an overall about materials and lashes. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so your mink, your foam mink, and your silk. Everything you need to know. Okay, so the different types of lashes that we know about are your silk lashes, your synthetic lashes, and then your mink lashes, and then your faux mink lashes. Okay, so starting off with the easiest one, you have your mink lashes, which are real fur, real hairs from Siberian minks, or um, I think they're from different minks as well, but generally speaking, they're all from the tail of the mink. But to be honest, this isn't used as much anymore just because it is more expensive to get 100%. It's more expensive uh, as, because it's more expensive to get, the actual cost of the service is more and people don't tend to want to spend like three, $400 on their lashes anymore. But back in the day when lashing was definitely new, it was definitely more of a thing to have real mink lashes. The issue is that obviously, bleh, the issue is that a lot of people are vegan nowadays and don't condone um, cruelty, like animal cruelty, and then that that is that whole thing. So people don't want mink on their eyes anymore. So a lot of uh, salons or a lot of people, a lot of lash artists, just don't offer mink. So therefore, it's not as common anymore. The other thing about real mink lashes is that because it is a real hair, it doesn't hold its curl as much. It's really, really fine, which is cool. It's super, super thin, but uh, it does lose its cool curl because it is a real, it is a real, um, it's real for a real hair. Okay, so next is your silk lashes, also known as your synthetic lashes, also known as your faux mink lashes. They are all a man-made um, material and all, um, obviously cruelty free because they are man-made but uh, they have different characteristics to them they are all generally um, similar in material because they're all made from a PBT material I cannot say what PBT stands for because I can't say the word but I will put it here but that is the material that it's made out of um, it's the only difference between like a foam ink a silk or a synthetic is that the actual weight is different um, some people call it silk some people call it synthetic some people call it foam ink it's generally more of a marketing thing when you purchase from someone because I mean foam ink sounds nicer than synthetic and I think uh, synthetic is kind of refers more to classic lashes being that like crunchy um, thicker feel which holds its curl really well so I mean if you're looking for something that's really gonna hold on to its curl and keep its firmness um, that specific synthetic like name is probably where you're looking and where you want to be um, but then when you start looking at silk lashes again they're all pretty much made from the same material which is that PBT but uh, silk lashes are generally a little bit thinner they're softer they have a little more flexibility to them but depending on where you go and which brand um, they may lose a curl faster it just depends on where it's made so this is why we always have to do trial and error when we purchase lashes just because um, one may say synthetic one may say silk but it has characteristics of a synthetic and then this one has characteristics of a silk but it's vice versa you know what I'm saying it's a little confusing but it all comes down to trial and error and I think it gets a little confusing when you decide on which lashes you want do you want to be a brand that carries silk lashes or synthetic lashes but at the end of the day they're kind of the same thing it's just the quality that you get if that makes sense um, and then when you ta start talking about faux mink faux mink lashes are also a PBT material man-made material but they mimic faux or they mimic mink hairs so that real fur um, look that real fur fur material but because it is a man-made material or a man-made lash it uh, holds its curl a lot better so you're definitely not going to get those lashes that just drop down uh, after a week but again it comes down to quality of where you purchase from so that could happen it might not happen but uh, generally it's you're looking at a foam mink as a volume lash it's more so like the 0.03s 0.05s um, synthetic kind of refers more to like your point your point 10 up because I think that it just groups into like classics and then your silk can be classics or can be volumes all of this varies between brands and varies between lashes but um, generally speaking they're all man-made and it just comes down to marketing and how they sell it to you uh, but it's 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 always quality that you want to go for right so you want to make sure that you're trying different lashes so you know the quality of the lashes for us a flourish we use 
silk lashes they are a PBT material but we say that they're silk because they are definitely softer they definitely have that lighter weight to them even our classics are much softer so they don't have that like crunch even uh, between our flat lashes and our classic lashes they both don't have that like super tight crunch but they hold their curl really really well so I'm definitely gonna link that below if you guys want to take a try and purchase one of our trays please go for it so the I'll link a discount code in the description below so you guys can try those out as well if you're in if you're starting off as a lash track you definitely have to do some research and check reviews and do like at the end of the day you're gonna have to do trial and error and see what's what works for you and um, where it depends on the climate all that kind of stuff if you're losing a curl faster than someone else um, but it's just trial and error but to knowing knowing your product and knowing your material is super important so it's really good to know these things so you're not kind of um, sucked into someone telling you that oh my gosh it's faux mink it's like this high brand high luxury uh, but really it's the same thing as like a silk or a synthetic it's just marketed differently if that makes sense you're talking hella fast though really yeah. okay so that is it for this video i hope this was helpful it's always good to watch things like this when you are starting out just as a beginner it's great to educate yourself on all of these little things so you don't get tricked into purchasing purchasing something you don't need to purchase or get kind of caught in to what people are saying because a lot of times i like i remember when i started out i had clients come to me and be like oh my gosh are you using foam ink or using silk are you using synthetic um, but it's because they were even warped into the idea of high quality being foam ink or high quality being silk versus synthetic um, but it's great when you know these things because then you can educate your client and then they kind of know uh, the idea because you don't want to not go to someone just because they're not using what you think they should be using does that make sense okay that is it for this video I hope you guys liked it I hope it was helpful don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll be back with something new next time bye